Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome to the Arcway. Now then, I was actually incorrect in my assumption that this got changed, that you could do this in a normal dungeon now. Now it's pretty, it's still a mythic, but I was able to find a group of people in our same kind of server group. And we're going to go ahead and knock this out of here on mythic difficulty, so... Let's go ahead and get Blade Flurry up. It's been a long time since I've done this. I'm trying to remember what exactly this entails. But with uh, some of the toys that we have, we should be in good shape. Woo! Look at all that. Now, there is a lot of nastiness in this dungeon. We need to try and stay out of the stupid, which is normal <laughs> dungeon etiquette. But once we get past these oozes, we should be in good shape. Now, this arcway is filled with oozes and demons and nightborn and all the other things that make life interesting. Now, these oozes are some of the most more annoying of the things that we'll actually encounter. There we go. Looks like we are running with a Demon Hunter tank, which is interesting. Um, monk on DPS along with me, a Priest Healer, and a Blood Elf Mage. So actually a pretty decent group makeup, I'm thinking. A little bit of everything. Now I'm not exactly sure as to the order. Um, Normally people go to the left, or at least my group went to the left, we're going to the right. So we're going to try and, I guess, knock out the quest that we need to do here first and foremost. There we are. Oh yeah, also a lot of shades. Nasty ghosts. And we need to interrupt their stuff at all costs. Because these guys, want, if they get their spells off, there's a lot of hurt involved. There we are. This demon hunter definitely knows his business. Now these ladies will keep casting torment, so you have to try to interrupt as much as possible. I'm actually gonna... Oh lord! I'm going to activate the Dread Blades here. Whoop. Oh wow, that doesn't interrupt. That's not nice. I thought Blind would interrupt. Well, I guess it's a if it's a ghost, Blind wouldn't work. What happened? Oh, he pulled everything back here. Smart. Smart, smart, smart. I like that. And it's AOE fun time. Now I do apologize if some of you guys are like, Oh my god, Wretch, like, this is like normal when you're in this dungeon. And it's been a long time, guys. Most of my friends who play the game don't really play it as much as they used to, unfortunately. So, just kind of have to take these opportunities as they come. Now, I'm doing the normal um, DPS thing of just attacking the tank's targets. I figured that's usually probably the best medicine. The book that we need for one of our quests is actually relatively close by. We passed by it. You guys may have been able to see it glow. And we'll be at our first boss. We'll actually take care of these anomalies. Let's grab that book. Or the scroll. The Suramar Leyline map. Whoa, Lordy. Cloak of Shadows for the win. Oh, 
Oh, the slicer. I remember the slicer now. We have to get out of the way of the slicer, because the slicer sucks. Now, this is Ivanir. As you can see, he's absorbing some nastiness that he probably shouldn't be. Where's Smee? Come here, Smee. Let's get you your pirate hat on before we uh, get to the thrashing. Dunk. There you are. There you go, little buddy. And we got a guy skinning. Oh, the monk skinning. Let's zoom out here a little bit, because this is one where the floor can get pretty tricky. Are we waiting? Oh, did the monk really go by back to skin everything? Good lord. Well, these things happen. Now you have to remember, this is the easy- Oh lord! The mana is mine! The mana is mine?! Well, let's do as much damage as we can. Fire those dread blades. It's going down pretty quick, though. I have to say. Oh! Ah! See, what happens is he creates these. these triangles. And the group just has to keep moving. What are you doing? I don't know what's going on. Oh, these things. No, he's fine. There we are. Now, yeah, hopefully the group doesn't get all salty because of one little thing. If no one dies, I consider everything as planned. There we go. Sword Singer's Wrist Guards. Well, I have better, but it's okay. The interesting thing about this is a lot of the mythics, there's no set strategy for a lot of it. And a lot of groups will clash as to how exactly they feel that a dungeon should be completed. Because we don't have the benefit of running this over and over again using the looking for group. Or at least not the um, not the actual queue up thing. You have to find this the old you have to do this the old fashioned way. Okay, yoink. Now we're finding a huge group of Withered that have a different abilities. And I remember one of them has a shield, you have to attack them from behind. But it's okay. Let's go ahead and. Yeah, that'll work. Are we already at? Oh, we already are at one of the bosses. Neat. That makes me happy. Go ahead and uh, use Mark for death there. We've got the Dreadblade buff that gives us a lot of combo points for little to nothing. There we go. And right into the boss. Now this is... Cor... Corstalax. Ah! We are attacked by sus suppression protocol. Go away. <laughs> so when you get hit with suppression... Ah! I'm imprisoned. 
I can't do anything. They have to break me out of prison. There we are. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, they're... Ooh. Trying to, uh... Suck you in there. And I know this is a lot to take in. But it's okay. Almost dead. Fortunately, all the group is well equipped. They know their business. Much boom has been lowered. And there we go. That's two bosses down. See, I just had to have Smee in his lucky hat. Now, where to go, mighty demon hunter? So we got three more bosses, technically. And no one face pulled. That's good. Oh, Lord. Big guys. Oh, I had Blade Flurry up that entire fight with a boss, didn't I? Because I'm a genius. Woo! Easy there. There was stupid on the ground. I did not see it. And that is a lot of crap. But I'm doing some really good damage. I don't know how many guys, have, uh, how many of you have played Warcraft and had that time where you're just doing amazing damage and then something crap happens on the floor and you just kind of want to keep on doing the DPS and risk the wipe. Because you're like, oh, it's such, it's so good. There's Naltira. We are dealing with spiders now. Of course we are. And Demon Hunter is pulling all of the spiders. Let's pay our respects. Oh, Lord. Ow. Let's go ahead and release. Cool thing is that we can just release and uh, travel this way. Oh, Lord. Those are bad. The Forgotten Spirits, very, very bad. Head back to the spider room. And looks like the tank's having some issues. It's alright guys, Swindle's here. Fire those cannons. Yeah, I forgot that they put crap on the ground when they die. They're like exploding spiders. So, I'm gonna have Cloak of Shadows up just in case. There, okay. Boss is dropped. Oh, the monk didn't. Mm. That's actually that's kind of turned into bad form now. If you don't release during trash and run back. Oh well. I'm okay with it. Now I forgot what she does. I assume that there'll be crap on the floor. Ooh. Oh, blind strikes. Okay. Ah! No, you go away. You are not gonna Matt Murdock me. Oh, he su she summons ads. That's what. Okay, I remember now. Kind of. I don't remember what Tangled Web does. Oh, we gotta get close to each other. I don't remember. I'm gonna there. <laughs> I, need to get close. I think you have to try and pull away. The monk was actually heading toward me, which is the opposite of what I think you have to do. So this is not a tutorial, this is a survival session. Just so you guys know. 
And some gold. I deserve that. So next up is General Zackle. That's that thing I was telling you guys a few episodes back that they that those demons just do not sound at all intimidating. They don't sound like anything you should be really afraid of. Takes away from the general intimidating legion vibe. And we got our blade flurry up. Oh, there's crap on the ground. We're gonna cloak of shadows. Oh crap, something else got pulled. I don't know if I if that was me. I'm going to assume it wasn't. Because I never make mistakes. <laughs> Nothing's ever my fault. There we are. And this tank isn't getting paid by the hour. Alright, I kicked a torment. It's like I did my part. That's crazy, you can't use your stun at all. Only normal interrupts will work on him. Or her, excuse me. Is that the general? Nope. Oh! We got some of you little guys. I need to get close. Well. You guys aren't bunched up, unfortunately. And let's get all these guys over here. Fortunately, these warlocks get into melee range. Yoink. Not a whole lot I can do right now without energy. I guess I could take some Thistle Tea, but that has a pretty significant um, cooldown to it. So we'll just keep on keeping on here. Obviously, you'll want to stay out of the fire when they turn into their demon forms. They turn into either the Wing Demons or these uh, Fell Hounds. So you just have to make sure that you stay out of the fire. I need to target something. And you should be good. I'm going to stealthy stealth just so I don't have to be the one to blame for all the unpleasantness. Fire the cannons! And we're going to try and do some major AoE here. At least as much as a outlaw rogue can muster. I do have to say, though, considering the fact that I'm really trying to push the pi pirate vibe on Swindle Gear, I I don't regret um, sacrificing abilities for the cannonball barrage. I love that thing, and it's actually served us pretty well, all in all. Whoop. You're nice and stunned. Sometimes a nice stun is infinitely better than all the DPS that you can do in that same time. Depending on the mob and circumstance. Getting fell blood all over my nice coat. Don't know how I feel about that. Well, actually, let's go ahead and focus on this Deathborn Seeker. The casters are traditionally the ones you want to deal with. Doesn't look like there's anything that they can interrupt though. Which actually makes them more deadly. Ooh, spellfire oil. And here's the general. So I assume we stay out of the nasty runes. 
Otherwise, this should be a general tank and spank. Other than the... Yeah. This is basically a watch your feet. Always mind your surroundings. It's like, uh... Rashal Ghoul says in Batman Begins. And I call him Rashal Ghoul and not Razal Ghoul because that's how I was first I first heard the name was Raish from uh, Batman the animated series. Woo! Cloak of Shadows. And this is actually a pretty easy fight, comparatively. This is the one we always fought first. Blood of Sargeras. Now, this fight coming up against Advisor Vandross my, my. is fun. Mess down here. It has been too long since we've purged these catacombs of refuse. It appears we have a rat infestation. Who are you calling a rat? Are we gonna fight through some demons, or are we just gonna... Yeah, sneaky sneaky. Take out the little scavengers, because... Why not? They're like the stormtroopers. You kill them because you can. Now with Vandross, we... Ooh, there's a misplaced chest here. I doubt we're going to go for it, though. Hey, groups like this are above such petty things as chests. Maybe. Let's hope, let's hope not. Because I want to see what's in that chest. Are we going... No. No, we're not. Ah, well. Let's go deal with Vandross. First, we got to clear the area of Forgotten Spirits, who cast this AoE Torment. So you have to burn them down as quickly as possible and interrupt as much as you can. Boop. And here's Vandross. Now, this is a relatively easy tank and spank until the... Uh, the second phase. The second phase is interesting because there's a lot of RNG involved in the process. Now you have to try to do it interrupt accelerating blast as soon as it pops up. And watch out for the geodes. And he's about to do a force bomb. So you get away from that, and we're just gonna cloak the shadows through that because we can. And now we're getting banished in time. Now we've been sent to a random area, and we have to try and, like in the dungeon, just completely random area. So you have to run through mobs and a bunch of stuff that'll try and kill you until you can get your way back to him. We have two minutes to do this, or we die. So, it's kind of uh, Ninja Turtles, Turtles in time, where Shredder gets tired of your shenanigans and just try, tries to banish you. Same, same principle. So you just try and cut through these wraiths, which are pretty squishy. The thing is, you just have to let nothing distract you on your way back to where Vandross was. Enough. There we go. You little beasts are getting out of hand. And then you just kind of wash, rinse, repeat. And all is well with the world. Now, I am just going to Cloak of Shadows that. And we're just going to try and burn through. Because I don't think he has that phase again. Nope. Stellar. And, ooh, Tactical Head Gun. And a Mythic Keystone, which you can use to make the dungeon even nastier. 
Cheers, all. Now, let's go ahead and just travel back to Dalaran. Actually, no, the instant entrance is over here. And then we can just take the portal back to Shalaran. I think that's probably going to be the, the best bet because we need to turn those in. What do we get our keystone for? Maw of Souls. Ooh. I like Maw of Souls. It's only Mythic 2, though, but you can keep on getting, like, keystones as you move in. Like, the more Mythics you do, the higher difficulty the keystones become. There, that makes sense. So, where is the portal over here? There it is. And we'll let the Nightfallen know that that's been taken care of, and then all we gotta do after this is... Court of Stars, which is, boy, and I apologize for all the derping during that dungeon run, but like I said, I hadn't done that in a long time, and doing that and talking at the same time is a bit of a chore. Long buried knowledge. Did you find it? Excellent. I will study this immediately. Farewell. Night fallen by 300. Well, oh, it's something. And I know we're about to get some pretty significant mana here. Greetings. Beware- ah, okay. Thank you. It is the one thing I no longer need to think about. Tome of Dimensional Awareness. Be careful who you trust. So the Arcway is now clear. Which is a load off to Lysra's mind. We're going to use all these talismans. And look out, look at all this mana, or all this artifact power we're putting in, and it's barely making a dent. We have to get almost a quarter of a million for our next level up. But, yeah, that's alright. All is as it should be. So, that was the Arcway, guys. We went ahead and got that dealt with pretty easily. Good group. Very good group. And next up will be the Quarter Stars, where we'll, and that will be the last dungeon, actually, in the game. And then after that, it's nothing to do but raids. So, hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.